Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to do polynomial operations. So we're talking about the four operations, multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition, our four basics. So if we wanted to add polynomials, let's say we had 5x minus 4x plus 3x squared minus 2, let's just leave it at minus 2. All right, the important thing to remember when adding or subtracting polynomials is that you can only add or subtract like terms. And what I mean by like terms is terms that have the same variables and the same exponents. So that means that 3x squared is not a like term with 4x because while they're both x's, this one is squared and this one is not. So I can only combine the ones that are like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and box off my like terms. And the important thing to do if you do like doing it this method is to box off the sign that comes before it. All right, you've got to carry it along. Think of it as the leash of the entire term. So 5x and negative 4x, not just 4x, are like terms, and there's no more x's. Now, my 3x squared, I'm going to put that in a different shape since it's a different term, doesn't have any like terms. And my negative 2, which is just a constant, I'll put that in a triangle. That doesn't have any like terms either. So these are not going to get combined with anything. These two will. So I have 5x minus 4x. The way that you add or subtract is you just combine the coefficients. So I have 5 minus 4 is 1. And keep your variable as it was. Don't add any exponents and subtract any exponents from it. Just leave it. 1x plus 3x squared minus 2. And those were the only things I could combine in this case. So that's all I combined. And then I left it. And then if I wanted to simplify this a little more, I could because we like to write polynomials in descending order. So I'm going to write the highest exponent first, 3x squared plus x minus 2. x and 1x are the same thing, right? That one can be imaginary. So that's how you add or subtract. Now, if you wanted to multiply the polynomials, you have to know the multiplication law of exponents, which says that if our bases are the same, bases being the numbers or the variables next to exponents, then we can just add the exponents. So if I wanted to multiply 5x squared by 3x cubed, doesn't matter that they're not like terms because I'm multiplying now. I can do it. I'm going to multiply their coefficients. 5 times 3 is 15. And now my multiplication law of exponents says that if my bases are the same, and they are x, x, I keep the base and I add the exponents, 15x to the fifth. Okay? Division law of exponents is sort of the opposite. If I had 20x to the fourth, over 5x. My division law says that I have to check if the bases are the same, and they are, and subtract the exponents. But be careful here because there is an exponent. It's not 0. It's an imaginary 1. So again, I divide the coefficients. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Keep the base because it's the same, and subtract the exponents. 4 minus 1 is 3. So that's my quotient. All right. So that is how you perform operations with polynomials.